In this video, we'll learn about yoga and meditation. Yoga is the bridge between meditation and spirituality. The original Buddhists used yoga as a means to prepare for meditation. Meditation, like yoga itself, is secular. It can be practiced by anyone. The purpose is to quiet loud mental chatter and to calm the mind. Benefits of Meditation 1. Meditation allows you to become more aware of your inner and outer life. You start to notice emotions and thoughts that you may have previously denied. 2. It provides insight to improve your relationships. 3. Being aware helps you act in the moment instead of acting out of habit. Negative emotions can have you act in ways that are harmful even when you are unaware of the reason for your behavior. When you become aware of these feelings, you can deal with them in a positive way. 4. Meditation allows you to be less critical of yourself and others. 5. Meditation keeps you from acting on random emotions and lets you analyze facts before taking action. 6. Meditation reduces stress and anxiety. 7. Meditation helps you adapt to changing circumstances. How does meditation work? Much research has been done on meditation for the past decades. Physically, meditation lowers our blood pressure and calms our nervous system. When we meditate, our heart rate and breathing slow down. Through greater awareness, meditation allows us to change the way we think about past experiences. If you were continuously put down as a child, you begin to accept it as normal. As an adult, those same feelings are deep within you. You expect to be put down, even if there's no reason for such expectation. Regular meditation can change that negativity to allow you to accept more positive thoughts and emotions. Studies have revealed that meditation can actually change our brain structure. People who meditate have enhanced areas dedicated to awareness and focus. A study at Harvard University has shown that while age can diminish certain areas of the brain, regular meditators retain the brain capacity of someone decades younger. For anyone seeking a higher level of existence, meditation clearly has much to offer. Another Harvard study showed that with regular meditation, areas of the brain that deal with fear and anxiety were reduced, while areas involving empathy and compassion became enlarged. Changing how our brain reacts is the ultimate in taking control of our lives. How to start meditating. Like yoga, meditation requires commitment. It's an ongoing process. The more we meditate, the better we get, and there are no limits as to how well we are able to meditate. Ancient and current Buddhists spend a lifetime on meditation and self-empowerment. Meditation requires a quieter place. Most people close their eyes and focus on their breathing, noticing every inhale and exhale. While other thoughts may intrude, they are simply acknowledged and set aside in a non-judgmental way. Start with just a few minutes. It is surprisingly difficult to sit quietly for any length of time because we are used to being constantly active. Work your way up to half an hour or 45 minutes. Try to meditate at the same time every day so that it becomes a daily habit. Find a comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. Meditating after getting up in the morning can get your day started on a positive note. However, meditating before going to bed can help you sleep better. Of course, there's no reason you can't meditate during both times of the day. Finding time to meditate. Claiming not to have enough time is simply an excuse not to get started. You don't own time. You make it by getting up half an hour earlier in the morning. If you have your own office, close the door during lunchtime and use the hour or part of it for meditating. Do you spend a lot of time on social media? Limit your time, and you've bought yourself at least an hour or two every day. Mindful meditation. One of the most useful types of meditations is mindful meditation. It brings greater awareness to our thought and emotions. Many people are chained to negative thoughts, frequently about occurrences from years past. No matter how much time has passed, these emotions can still control our actions. Mindful meditation allows us to acknowledge those negative feelings, then put them aside so they no longer have the power to control us. Mindful meditation is based on one critical axiom that cannot be overstated. You are not your thoughts. 
Some people feel controlled by their negative emotions. Mindful meditation puts you in control. Like yoga, meditation can change areas of the brain, increasing our ability for enjoyment and decreasing the areas responsible for depression and anxiety. Instead of having our mind jumbled with thoughts and feelings, mindfulness keeps us in the present to deal with what's happening now. This is a skill that can be learned. How to meditate mindfully. Mindful meditation couldn't be easier. If you can breathe, you can meditate. Simply follow a few simple steps to enjoy the relaxing benefits. Find a quiet place, preferably with natural light. Ensure that you will not be disturbed. If you can find a peaceful place outdoors, it would be ideal. A good amount of time to set aside for meditation is half an hour, but you can start with just five minutes and increase your time gradually. Like yoga, it should be easy and not painful or uncomfortable. Wear comfortable clothing. You don't want anything tight disrupting your meditative flow. It is helpful to have a timer set to keep you from glancing at your watch. You can use a chair or sit on the floor using cushions. If you're on the floor, cross your legs in a comfortable lotus position, which is the traditional Buddhist meditating stance. If you're sitting on a chair, have your feet touch the floor or use blocks on which to rest your feet. Your torso should be straight but not stiff. Rest your hands on your thighs. You should feel comfortably at rest. Most people prefer meditating with their eyes closed as it removes distractions, but if you prefer, you can leave them open. Next, just relax. Gradually begin to focus on your breathing as you inhale and exhale deeply. You notice how the air feels going in and going out. Feel the rise and fall in your chest. It is natural for your focus to wander as others enter your mind. There is no reason to get upset and pretend these thoughts aren't there. Acknowledge them and then return your focus to your breathing. If your mind wanders a great deal, simply observe what's happening in a non-critical way. Don't force them away. Merely pay attention to what is happening. One way to increase your focus is by counting. Inhale, count one. Exhale, count two. Up to 20. Then count in reverse. Remain still for a few minutes after you have finished meditating. Notice how you feel, your thoughts and emotions. Become an observer, not a critic. Meditation is as easy as this. Yet, it can bring about powerful changes. When practiced with yoga, you will notice your mind and body working in natural harmony. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz.